Hello! And welcome back to... Smackdown Live! Recap! Take two. Not take two. Yeah, we did. The first time we tried, power went out real quick, so we had to restart it, so... Let's start this off with, um, Shake McMahon. Yep. Shake McMahon starts off Smackdown. He's just pretty much yapping it off. He accepts uh, Owens' challenge. Owens is like... Saying if he loses, he's gonna quit, and he brings up when he quit last time when he went against Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. And it was in Toronto. And. Same thing that's happening in uh, SummerSlam. And no one just comes out and goes, I knew, I knew you were gonna accept it, because you want me gone, but. And I knew you were gonna show that video, but. I'm not the same one. I'm not the same guy. I'm, I'm different. Because and... this time, I'm gonna kick the, uh, the holy crap out of you. And I don't care who I have to go through, whether it's McIntyre, you, uh, you, um, uh, Elias, or Roman, and then Roman comes out and says, you Roman? calling me out, um, everybody's gonna get a fight. No. Yes, it is. That was at the end. That wasn't in the beginning. Doesn't matter. You just said it. Well, anyway, it was no. it was just Owens and Shane in the beginning, and... Because he's all fired up and he wants to fight. Shane's like, okay, you see, like you want to fight, but I'm not dressed for it. But, hmm, you can see who you can you fight. Oh, yeah, the big dog, Roman Reigns. And then that's that. And then backstage you see Drew, Elias, and Shane. And, um, Drew. He's the special guest referee. Yep, made him the ref. Elias is the timekeeper, and Shane McMahon is, um... The ring announcer. Oh, wow. So, that was that. And then the first match of the night was Nakamura versus Apollo Crews. <laughs> the way how you wrote it, it says, Wakamura. No. That N looks like a... You gave the, the N look like a little extra little thing, so it looks like a W. Yeah. So, Shinsuke Wakamura versus Apollo Crews. Shinsuke Nakamura, he won with a King Sasha. Sasha? Sasha? He kicked him in the face. Yeah. It, well, actually, he, 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 but we he almost had a nice forgot. effort against No, him. we almost forgot. The whole time, we have the New Day speaking on commentary for half of the show. Yeah. Yeah, they were gross when it came... What was it? Where was it when they were big and this looked disgusting? In the beginning! He was standing on top of the no. tables and he's going and he's shaking his head. No, when it came to Miss TV, they looked like, just looked weird. That was what he was doing. But yeah. And then there was a little backstage thing with Sonya Deville, but um Um uh, Mandy Rose is like, Oh we're gonna we're gonna we have to face the iconics. If we win we get a title shot. But that's stupid. Don't the um the Kabuki Warriors get their get that shot? Yeah, stupid. Yeah, but let them win it and then not the Kabuki Warriors. It's stupid. Now Ms. T. Now Ms. T. V. Was Shawn Michaels? Yeah. He first showed the Raw reunion. What happened? All the legends and stuff. And then he on Shawn. And then they're pretty much talking about the Raw reunion. And then Dolph Ziggler came out. Wait, no, because Miz was talking to Sean, and he kept meant bringing up his Marine movie, the one that he was with Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Then uh, Dolph Ziggler shows up, and he's why, why, why should have been me, should have been me, and then Miz just tells him off to his face, says, "If it should have been you, then make it you." And then Shawn Michaels is like. Uh, and then Shawn Michaels calls Dolph Ziggler a second-rate, a, do a dollar store version of Shawn Michaels. Yep, but Dolph saying, no, you are, Shawn. And ends up being a little bra. Oh, well, Dolph Ziggler walks away, and then Shawn grabs, grabs, um, grabs him, and he ducks, and he hits the Miz. So Shawn's checking on the Miz, and then he walks and... Do uh, Dolph, super, uh, sweet chin music, Shawn Michaels in the face. Yep. So probably. He walks away after him and try to get him. So, SummerSlam, it's gonna be Miz versus Ziggler. It's obviously gonna be Miz and, Z Miz and Ziggler. And now, a woman division match. 
You thought it was going to be Carmella fighting Ember Moon, no, but it ended no, up being Charlotte. No, like, no, I thought it looked like Carmella, but I didn't. It's Charlotte. You thought it looked like Carmella, but you have to listen to the ring thing. But then again, they brought Charlotte into the ring during the commercial, so when we came up, she's already like halfway in the ring. Well, anyway, Moon Majesty. Bailey shows up. Bailey's showing up. And she's distracting, um... Ember Moon? No, Charlotte. No. And Ember Moon uh, would have been a roll-up for the win. And then, um... But Bailey's fighting Natty. No, she's not. She's facing Amber Moon. Because she, uh, she, um, gave the title shot to Amber Moon, like, last week. Oh, wait, Natty's no, fighting Natty's fighting, um... Lynch. I forgot. I can't help it. I just got up too. So. Ember, well, Ember Moon, and then she puts Bailey in the ring. So Bailey's like, what? And then Char goes on Bailey. And then Ember Moon does um, eclipse. the eclipse on both of them. And she stands tall. I want to see Ember Moon champion. I like Ember Moon. I the like werewolf? Yeah. And now. There's um Kofi Kingston SummerSlam challenge, and she's he's saying he hopes that this guy accepts his challenge, and the guy is Randy Orton. Randy Orton, and, Randy. and he and he says that for years, Randy has been using his influence from Evolution and all that stuff to hold Kofi back, and Randy says, "Yeah, I have, because you're not ready." And even as a t champion, you're still not worthy. But guess what? At SummerSlam, you're, I'm going to take your title. And you're going to be faced down with the three most dangerous words. And the, the three most dangerous letters. And it's the RKO. Mm -hmm. Then Joe comes out. Joe, then Joe's coming out. That's because he's going to be in his match with Kofi Kingston. But Randy looks like he wants to sit there and watch the match. Yeah, because you know what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. So, but it ends up being a D... Uh, it's going on, but it ends up being a DQ because Randy Orton tries to get a ball. He tried to do the RKO to Kofi. And then Samoa Joe's tomping on Randy's shoulder, but he gets the RKO. And then he, Randy turns around into a trouble in paradise. Oh, yeah. Now, we got Finn Balor coming out. And he yeah. issues a challenge to the Fiend. To the Fiend. But then we see Firefly Funhouse, oh and we see Bray Wyatt, and he goes, "We lo we loves you, we loves you, Balor." The Fiend doesn't. The Fiend is a monster. Let me in. Oh yeah, let me in. He accepts your challenge. Blah blah blah. So so that summer time's gonna. See, I knew it. I knew it was gonna be Balor and him. Watch, it's gonna be like the demon versus him. But this didn't we have that already? No, it's not gonna be the demon. Otherwise, they would have said it. It's just been Balor. But the fiend mask, that's just one of those, that's a, just, just a... Joker mask, so I'll tweet. No, it's um, a new 52 Joker mask, but they repainted it. Yeah. It looks like it, because... And then, you got Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens, with the ref, Drew McIntyre, and Shane Lies. But it's funny, because Shane's saying... There's only like ten minutes left of the match. Uh, ten minutes yeah, left of the goes, show. The one who I beat at the Super Showdown is a big dog, Roman Reigns, and then he goes, "Who I'm going to be at SummerSlam? The Quitter, Kevin Owens." And then he gets, the Kevin Owens gets mad and goes, "You know what, Shane? You know what? If I, I don't care if I have to get through Roman Reigns, Elias, Drew, all that just to get to you. Fine, whatever." And then Roman speaks up and goes. Gotta get through me. I'm gonna beat everybody. Fine, I'll beat. I'll have to. I guess there's gonna be a big fight tonight. So they're gone, but it doesn't really, really happen because Roman ends up attacking Drew McIntyre. Because McIntyre is a, because uh, McIntyre is a crappy ref. So everybody <laughs> starts getting punched and. And Elias gets involved with Shane, and then Roman's attacking them. Then, then they all have reins on. Oh, Drew and Elias has him in the corner. Shane's sending up and mocking Roman Reigns with the... Mm. And then, um... 
Owens pulls Shane's leg, gets him out of the ring, and then they, he super kicks Elias and Drew. And then ends up being a spear, then a stunner. Then so, Shane rings with Shane back in the ring. Roman Superman punches Shane, and then, uh, which sets up Kevin Owens to do a stunner. Stunner. And then the fans are saying, one more time, one more time, and Roman's like, oh, like one more time. And then they uh, they lift up Shane, he gets stunned again, and then everybody's uh, screaming and hollering, and Roman Reigns is showing, respe uh, showing respect to Kevin Owens, saying, do this, uh, do it on SummerSlam, kick his ass. <clears throat> now for your 205. Now, I'm just going to do 205 for right in here. It's quick. Alright. It's actually an NXT vs. 205 live little thing going on there. You see two NXT people on there. Um, there's going to be... Okay, there was a thing with St. Brothers. They challenge, they're doing a challenge for Kendrick and Akira. So next week's probably going to be... It's going to be St. Brothers vs. Brian Kendrick and Akira Tozawa. And then Drew, Ma Drew McIntyre, <laughs> Drake Maverick, was talking how there's going to be an unsanctioned match with Mike, and if Mike wins, he gets his title opportunity. So there's that. All right, first match, Lucha House Party. Yep, first match, Lucha House Party with Humberto Carrillo and Raul Mendoza. Raul Mendoza from the NXT is really good. You mean Raul? Yeah. But it's cool. They did a uh, Humberto and Raul did a cool move on the house party. They did like a whip, a wheelbarrow slam on Kalisto, and they tried to pin there, but he kicked out. But um, Humberto and Raul end up um winning. They did like a twisted splash on Grand Metalik for the win. So that was that. Um. And this is a this is a quick match. Only Lorcan versus someone named Tony Isnar. Isnar. He ended up doing an uppercut, and then he did a half and half suplex for the win. So that was a quick match. And then here we go, the main event. Isaiah Swerve Scott from when he was in that tournament, breakup store tournament, hmm. and he goes against the cruiserweight champion Drew Gulak. All right, this match is good. Um, but let's see. Close to the end of the match, Isaiah, he uh, did a right hand to uh, Gulak, and the Gulak punched him, and then, let's see, what the, did, oh yeah, Scott, Scott jawbreaker to the corner, and then he kicks outside, he kicked him out, so made him go outside, and then he was looking for a submission, but I guess Gulak got out of it, and Gulak ended up doing some, I think it's a good side called Clash for the win. And then, of course, he's showing his title to Isaiah Scott, and he's like, Yeah, I'm a champ. Uh huh. Drew Gulak, you suck. And that's pretty much SmackDown and uh, 205. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you let us know what you thought of this week of SmackDown and 205 Live, and we'd like to hear it, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.